That was my ankle. That was not a tree branch. Hey guys, Mountain Lee here with Mud Motors Max. Today we're going to talk about what some of the things of steamboats coming up here from St. Louis, Missouri, all the way up to Fort Benton, Montana Territory, had to go through. So obviously, guys, they're not able to carry fresh water with them. You know, uh, it wouldn't last them because they're on the water for about 60 days. It's a 3,000 mile trip from St. Louis, Missouri, all the way up to Fort Benton, Montana Territory, when you're counting river miles. And so they had to use the water that they were in. They had to use the water to put in their boilers for creating steam. They had to use the water for sanitation as far as cooking, maybe even washing yourself, of course. They didn't have showers, but, you know, washing yourself. For serving drinks, the bartender wasn't a big luxurious ship. It's not like one of those Mississippi paddle wheel ships, guys. This is mainly for carrying freight and people getting up there in the Montana Territory first kind of what you're dealing with high sediment rivers so we'll just show you kind of how much sediment is in these rivers because of course there's a spring runoff when they had to be in these rivers I got a clear bottle here imagine drinking that with your whiskey <laughs> Imagine brushing your teeth with that, if anybody was brushing their teeth. But of course, you know, there was people who were, who were taking care of themselves. But it wasn't a luxurious ship, guys. This is a mountain boat. It wasn't the luxurious amenities. Normal people who were going up there, they were on the bottom floor with the freight and the livestock and all the... And the men. And they, they you know, this is what they were dealing with here. So, But imagine that, guys. This, this water here, <laughs> getting served with your drinks, getting served with your whiskey, getting brushing your teeth, making your coffee in the morning, maybe washing your face, washing your body with a sponge bath, whatever you got to do to keep you and your family clean. It's a 60-day trip. We're talking about two months, 3,000 miles. This was no joke. Guys, this is the next day after letting it settle for a while here. Now, I'm sure they wouldn't just drink this right out of the river unless they were desperate, right? So I'm sure they would let it sit for a while and settle. If you were a mother with her kids, I'm sure you wouldn't want her to just want your kids to be drinking just right out of the river. Here's it just shooking up. Here's that other bottle I just shook up. So there's the river where it's just uh, pulled out. If you let it settle for a while, you know it can probably settle it down a little bit give it another week it might settle it down more and boiling it is not going to take out the sediment it'll just clear it of pathogens and of anything that could give you cholera which did happen sometimes so just let this settle i'm sure she could probably pour it through a cheesecloth too to get her as much filtration as possible right I'm sure that she ran it through a cheesecloth or something to get as much filter filtration as possible. Or the the bartender who was serving drinks was probably not just pouring in their river water. I hope not, just scooping it out of the river, right? Probably let it settle for a while. But see how much sand is at the bottom of that. From that to that in just a day so that's a lot better than you boil that or something if you had that option and uh it was probably safe to drink not everyone did boil it people did get sick sometimes and uh best thing to do really was was put brandy in it have some alcohol in it that really was the best thing to do a lot of people drank alcohol there was reports of a lot of people who were drunk on these ships especially the men who were working on them it was a long long hard day they weren't typically working at night so 
they were drinking to medicate and and get a load off let's be real I mean, when you're loading these boilers and just working there's 97 men usually on these ships but they could have up to 150 who were working and they could have up to 300 passengers so or more heading up to fort benton montana territory <laughs> all right guys stay tuned this is mount lee with my motors max more to come. I do a little bit of these history things too. This is really what inspired me to, to start Mud Motors Max. One of these things was the men who would come up here, like Joseph Labarge, Captain Joseph Labarge, and Captain Grant Marsh, who were serious captains who risked it all. And so just that's what inspired me to, to have some of these experiences that these men went through, just to, just to be out on this river and, and be a pilot and read the river. So stay tuned for more, folks. Thanks.